Hello, it's day 19 of the Countdown to Christmas Alternative Advent Calendar. And today I've got a question for you. Do you share your hopes, dreams and aspirations with your partner? Does your partner share them with you? Do you feel comfortable and safe enough to share them with your partner? And likewise, do they feel comfortable and safe enough to share them with you? You see, sharing your hopes, dreams and aspirations with your partner are a sign of a truly unconditional relationship. Because when you share those dreams, then your partner is able to support you in pursuing those dreams or those goals or aspirations. And the strength that brings to a relationship knowing that you're not going to be laughed at, you're not going to be ridiculed, you're not going to be made fun of, for having goals, dreams or aspirations is incredible. Knowing that there's somebody in your corner truly, truly supporting you. I know what it's like to have dreams and goals and aspirations and things you really want to achieve and to have a partner that will tell you, you can't do it. You're not good enough. You're never going to achieve that. And everybody's going to laugh at you for having those goals and dreams. I know what that's like. And trust me, it's not a great place to be. It's not healthy for you or the relationship. So if you have a partner who ridicules your goals, dreams and aspirations, I'd suggest you start having some serious conversations in the relationship. But in the meantime, let's focus on the positives of what it means to share goals, dreams and aspirations, what it means to support those. I'd like to share a little story with you. My partner a couple of months ago came home and said, when I retire, I want to travel the canals of the UK on a narrowboat for a year. I'm going to buy a narrowboat and spend a year living on it and traveling the canals. And he said, you can come with me if you like, but you don't have to. And I said, that's amazing. What a brilliant opportunity. What a brilliant idea. But I don't know that I fancy the idea of living on a narrowboat for a whole year. I love spending time on a narrowboat. I love our regular narrowboating holidays. But the prospect of being in such a small environment for a year is not something I'm sure I can do. But that doesn't matter because I've supported him anyway in pursuing that goal. And we're Bit, a little way off retirement at the moment, but that's the goal he's pursuing. I, on the other hand, have slightly adapted my dream because I knew that I want to buy a nice five bedroomed house that has plenty of room for entertaining and a large garden so that we can entertain in the garden. I can have a veg patch. I can have fruit bushes and fruit trees and chickens. That's what I want. So I said, well, that's OK, because all I'll do is aim to have that property backing on to a canal where we can also have a private mooring. And then when you've bought the boat before you go traveling, it can be moored at the end of the garden. And when you finish traveling, it can still be moored at the end of the garden. We will have access to the boat that we will want to use for holidays. And you'll always have somewhere to come back to whilst you're traveling. And it doesn't stop me from jumping in the car and coming to meet you for a weekend or for a week away on the narrowboat with you and then coming home afterwards. I'm fortunate he's travelled a lot over the years, so I'm quite used to us being separated for a number of months at a time. But to be able to support his dream and to know that he supports mine is incredible because we both work with each other to ensure we're working on those dreams and we can do those safe in the knowledge that there is unconditional love between us. So I'd like you to ask yourself today, what can you share with your partner about your hopes, aspirations and dreams for the future? And how can you support your partner in pursuing their hopes, dreams and aspirations for the future? Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow for day 20 of the Countdown to Christmas Alternative Advent Calendar. Have a fantastic rest of the day.